Hi, I'm going to show you how to add descriptive statistics to a graph. Specifically, this will be an option when you have a dot plot where you have a categor categorical variable on X. So you can see aggression of foster colony and we have two possible values for that, high aggression or low aggression. And you have a numeric variable displayed on the Y axis. So in this case, it's offspring aggression score. So the height of each point is showing you what that offspring aggression score is. The spread of the dots horizontally has no meaning. This is just called the jitter, and it's just a visual construct so to separate points so you can see them a little bit easier, but they are clearly in these two categories, either at high or low. Um, to add descriptive stats, you will come up here and you see this checkbox. This will become an option when you have, again, a categorical X and a numeric Y. And so I'm going to, oops, sorry, click and unclick. I'm going to click descriptive statistics. And you see that what is showing currently on there is mean based with a 95% confidence interval. So what that is showing is this dot is the mean and these error bars are showing me the 95% confidence interval. Also notice that the fine print here on the bottom of the graph now reads, dot shows the mean, error bars above and below show 95% confidence interval. So that tells you what is displayed on the graph. Um, I can change what those error bars represent by going here. So where it says 95% confidence interval, if I click that, it will give me this drop down menu and I could change that and maybe I want to show instead standard deviation. So I can click that and now the error bars are changed to standard deviation and you see the fine print on the bottom of the graph has, has also been changed. If you want to see the actual values of those, those standard deviations and those means, this checkbox has appeared in the, and it has appeared checked here where it says values and this small table is showing me the, the values for the high group and the low group. I can see the mean for each I can see the standard deviation for each. I can see one standard error of the mean for each. I can see uh, the 95% confidence uh, lower and upper limits for each displayed there. I can make that table of values go away. Um, I could also uh, make it come back and I could put it on the graph itself by clicking this checkbox here. And so you can see now it's, it's displayed underneath the graph. I like it uh, just over to the side is, is fine for me. I'm also going to show you, in addition to the mean-based descriptive statistics, I could also get some median-based descriptive statistics. So I click there, and now you can see the little blue line here is showing me, um, this is showing you a box in whiskers. And if you read the fine, fine print here, you can see that this line is showing you the median value for each group. This box is showing you the interquartile range, or the middle 50% of the data. And then the whiskers above and below are showing you the full range from the highest point to the lowest point in each group. And you can see, again, those will appear. I can also put um, mean and median based on the plot at the same time. And you can see now it says mean and median. So we see both the, the median, we see the mean, and we see the raw points, which is a really nice teaching tool to show students what these kind of visual constructs mean. Uh, I also want to point out, if you want to take the dots away, this box right here, this hide dots, if I check that, it will it will remove that. So you can, that's how you add descriptive stats to, to the plot. I also want to show you that, I'll make the dots come back. I also wanna show you, you can affect the appearance by clicking this appearance button. And here's where you can change a variety of things about the graph, but I wanna point out that the mean error bars and box have their own um, area here in the appearance menu. And maybe instead of showing the mean as a dot, I could show the mean as a bar if I wanted. And so you can see over here on the left, the plot changed to uh, make, a, make a bar plot. I can also change this indicator width will change the size of those visuals. So you can see if I crank that up, those, those can get larger um, or smaller. So you can change the size of those. I can also change the width of the lines on those. I can make those smaller. So you have some flexibility to, to change those, those things on the graph. So that is how you add descriptive stats to the plot using Data Classroom. Um, and that's it for now. Let me know if you have any questions.